So I'm going to show you today how I can program the Freedom KL43Z board um, while I'm on the subway. And so what you just saw me do right there is I pulled out the KL43 board with a daughter board or a shield attached to it from a little Pelican case out of my backpack. And I'm going to fire up MCU Espresso and use a demo program or a demo code that's on there that drives the onboard LCD. I'm going to plug in the USB, which is what Shepherd I'm doing right West. now. West and I'm going to plug in the other end of the mini USB cable to the open SDA port because there are two USB lines on there. One is just a regular USB and the other one is connected to the open SDA debugger. I fired up MCU Expresso. I'm going to go to import SDK examples and this is assumed that I've already imported the SDK set of files. So I've chosen the Freedom KL43Z board and I'm going to type in LCD to find the example that I want. And you can see it right here. If I open that right there, click on that, and then I have to give it a project name. I add that to the suffix right here. And I'm going to call it my Subway LCD project. I hit finish and it will create the project for me in MCU Expresso. So all the source code will be there. I'm now going to open it up. You can see it in the upper left hand corner. I'm going to go to source. I'm going to find the source file, in this case slcd.c. Scroll down to main to make sure I've chosen the right file. And there's main right there. I'm going to build it. And I go down to the lower left hand corner where it says build and it's got the name of my project. So it's always important to check that it's actually building the actual project you're interested in. And what I'm going to do next in a second here is I'm going to show you how I can modify that main file uh, or that main piece of code and the main function in it. So I'm going to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and I'm going to change the printf statement, which is right here. So when I run my demonstration, you'll see it in the bottom right of the screen. There will be a serial command that will be sent over USB through the debug port. So right now I'm building it again. And once it's built, then um, I can I could clean and build again if I wanted to. But I'm going to hit the debug button. And it's going to look for the debug hardware on that board. So it's going to look for OpenSDA. And if this doesn't show up, then plug and unplug your board a couple of times. But it's found it. It's now downloading code onto the board itself. The binary file is being downloaded. And now I'm going to open up this part of the screen right here where all the debugging printf statements end up showing up through this uh, PE, which is the company that makes the, the little hardware thing um, for the debugging, where it has its, its uh, console application going on. So now you can see on the screen, you can see how the LCD is going and that the code that I modified actually showed up in the debug console. And that's it. Now I can put it away. So I'm going to put that board back on. Just be careful that you, when you mount it, you're doing it parallel so the pins don't um, break or bend. I'm going to put it back in its Pelican case. And the 1010 case, um, which is a fabulous case, it's a great case, this one right here, uh, fits Arduino size boards. And you can put two boards together in there. Put the USB cable away. And there you have it, programming the KL43 board on the subway.